The Wood Shop is sponsored by Sheffer Kits with hundreds of items for wood turners. All right, welcome back. Today I'm going to turn an old style pepper grinder. I found this beautiful piece of maple. Dean wanted to see how to do this. This is a great beginner project. It's just spindle turning. You just drill a hole down through the center and there's, you can make this any size you want. Um, and again, I want to say thank you. This is my 300th video and I want to thank everybody for all your support over the years. I, I really appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I found a piece of maple and I cut it up. It's five inches long and three by three. Um, I drilled a one inch hole down through the center of it. That's what the instructions say. As long as your top is will fit the the grinder, it can be any dimension you want. You can make this tall like a like a big grinder. It'll it'll work. All the pepper's doing is falling down through that hole, so it doesn't matter. And I just turn this down. And if you want to, you can cut the corners off on the table saw or band saw or whatever. But I'm just gonna rough it down with a roughing gouge. And I'm going to turn the speed up to about about 1300 until I get it trued up, and I'll turn it up to 2000. I pretty much let the video run through in real time. I just edited out a few spots where I was fumbling around for tools or tightening up the, the tailstock and stuff. The only thing I did cut out was the sanding at the very end. I, I just showed a little bit of it. So you can kind of get an idea of how long a project like this takes. I'm going to turn the speed up all the way to 2,000 now. Move the tool rest up. All right, got a little one little flat spot left there, but that will be okay. I'll turn that away. So the top of this is well, the top of the grinder is it needs to be no less than two inches. So I'm going to definitely give it a little bit more than that. But uh, the screws, the outside of the screws there is is right at two. All right, now I'm just going to start shaping, and I'm just going to use a spindle gouge for that. Check that real quick. Yeah, that's... That's good. I actually still have that little flat spot though, so I need to need to bring that down a little bit more.
All right, I have a little spot there that I'm just going to bring down with the parting tool. A couple little enclosures there. So that is about it. I'm just going to clean up this surface a little bit. Alright, I'm just going to sand it. I'm going to sand it with my paste wax and mineral oil. And uh, then I just need to clean up this little little spot here, but the, the actual grinder is going to cover that a little bit. So it doesn't have to be great. And then the bottom one, you want to want to finish that one off completely because you'll be able to see that. Alright, I'm going to turn the lay speed down to about 200. I'm going to start out with 180 here and run through all the grits and I put this on on each grit as I go through all right I'm just finishing up with uh, my last grit here 600 and I the whole project from finding the piece of wood, drilling the hole, and, and sanding is less than an hour. And there's only two screws for the, to mount the top on, so this is a great, uh, great beginner project. It's a little bit, you know, just spindle turning, and there's not a whole lot you can mess up on it. Just give it whatever shape you want it just uh, you actually need to hold on to the base when you're when you're grinding it so you know make it don't make it too small I guess but you can make them as, as tall or as short as you want so there's a little ridge there I need to just trim that down I'm gonna just do that with a knife because it's gonna be covered anyway and then same here I'm gonna get it in focus I'm gonna trim that down but I do need to sand on that just a little bit to clean it up so it looks good I'm gonna put a little bit of oil and oil in the inside too and it's just food safe mineral oil so that's easy enough all right uh, slight correction leave that little tenon on there it actually goes right up inside there and centers the grinder for you so just I uh, wouldn't make it make it too tall but just enough to where it it hits that lip and it centers the whole piece. So I need to pre-drill for the screws here, and there's just two of them, one on each side. So I'm gonna put that one in, and then do the other one. All right, and then the little door opens up, fill it full of pepper, close it, and then this is how you adjust the, how coarse you want it. So. That's it, and you just hold on to it and grind away. All right, there we go. I'll put some detailed pictures up at the end. This is just a beautiful piece of maple. Um, like I said before, this is a great, great beginner project. Um, Christmas coming up, the, these make great gifts. And I got the hardware from Craig at Chefware Kits. And I'll put a link down below to, uh, to his site. All right, there we go. As always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.